Yo, what's up guys, it's me, Jake here, and today I'm going to be doing a massive manga haul that also includes quite a few light novels. Now, I did get this for the past, like, week or so, though they were delayed by a bit, actually. They were supposed to come in last Friday. One came in Saturday, and one came in Wednesday, or Tuesday, I mean, Tuesday, I mean. And, yeah, it's got delayed a little bit, but I'm glad that I can get this out and start recording this for you guys, and yeah. Before I get into this video, if you like this kind of video, please go and hit that like and subscribe button. Or if you like my content, please go follow me on my socials on Instagram or my Twitter. Or if you like me and a bunch of other manga tubers just chilling out, please go watch my podcast of the Rocky Otaku Podcast. Links in the description to that podcast and all the people who co-host it with me. So I'm really excited for the next episode that's coming out Saturday. And yeah, let's just get straight into the video. <sighs> And to start off this manga haul, I got two pretty big, chunky volumes, I will admit. And that is volumes 1 and 2 of Doubt. Now, these are pretty big. I didn't think they would be as big as this. Um, I think they're 3 or 2 in ones, if I'm not mistaken. But I did not expect them to be this thick. <laughs> like, I, I ordered them. I've seen them in so many people's collections. But then I got them, and I just was like, holy crap, this is big. Now, I know Secret and Judge have some, well, mostly Secret has harder to find volumes, and Judge isn't too bad, but I know Secret's pretty hard, so I'm gonna, if I like this, I'll try to get into Judge, and if I really like Judge, then I might try and find Secret, but it's really hard to find those volumes. But yeah, so far from what I see, these covers are really nice. Like, I really do enjoy the covers of these, and the spines of these, and even the back. Now, I would read this out to you, but as you can tell, it's a pretty big one, so here's volume one. I'll just leave it right here for you guys to pause it. Okay, now, that's it for Doubt, so I'm just going to bring you guys to the next series, because I have quite a few volumes to show off today, so yeah, give me one second. Now, the next two are actually light novels, and they aren't even the main story of the light novels. They are the spinoffs. Now, I do have the manga for one, but I wanted to get the light novel as well, and that is Damachi Familia Chronicle episode of Liu. I really like this cover as well, and episode of Freya. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, he is working on episode three of this, which is Haruhime. If I'm not mistaken, please leave down in the comments if you know, because that's just from what I've heard. But the thing about this volume is volume of Liu has a little bit of a dent in its spine. It's not enough to make me return it, but it is kind of annoying. But they do look really nice. Like, I really do like the looks of these volumes. And even the spines look really amazing. I really do like what Damachi does with their light novels. And this is no exception. Like, these are like matte kind of finishes, if you know what I mean. Like, the, uh, to be, if you have the Damachi manga, you'll know. What I'm talking about the light novels are glossy but these light novels have the uh, manga feel to it and it, look, it feels so nice it's not like that glossy feel it's like that matte feel that the volumes of the manga has it's just so nice and I I'm, don't have the uh, sword oratoria light novels so it's I had to get them at one point I think there's 12 right now but so far I have the episode Liu ones and maybe more to coming into the next one on the topic of Damachi, the next thing I have is actually the next seven light novels. I do have all 15 now, but I'm just going to show them off in two different cuts because holding 15 in your hand and having 13 and 14, which are big chunky boy ones, it's kind of hard. So I'm just going to show off the covers of the first seven and then go on to a separate cut where I have the next little bit. But yeah, I really do like the covers of these. I like how they have the colored pages in the beginning. Uh, I know most light novels do that, but I really like how Damachi does it. And I just love Damachi, as you can't tell. Like, if you can't tell, Damachi is amazing in my mind. I think it's such a great series. So, I also do have kind of bias for it because it was the series that got me into anime and manga. But, yeah. I'll show off the spines after I show off all 15 volumes, by the way. But I'm just going to show off the volumes covers first and then the spines. So, let me just get the rest of the volumes real quick. Now, for the other volumes, here is volume 8, volume 9. I also really like the covers of these. Um, for a light novel, their covers are really nice. Uh, volume 10, I think this is one of my favorite covers in the whole series. I also like how they differentiate the art style from the light novel and the manga. Because the art style difference is very major, if you don't know. It's really major, like extremely. So... Seeing the difference in this is really nice. Now, one thing I don't like about these kind of volumes is the glossiness kind of makes it harder to, like, see the actual covers sometimes. But 
So if you can see this cover, this one's also really good. And then volume 15, which is a very basic cover, but I really like it still. Now, I'll show you guys the spines in just a second, so let me just bring them up so you can see them. Now, here are the spines for these light novels. Um, I really do like how they have part of the cover on all the spines. I think it's really nice looking. I really think it looks way more clean than the manga counterpart, which is like this. I think it looks way nicer. Now, there's a little gap here because I have volume 15 before the rest, so I had to take that out, but... I think that these look way worse than these, in my opinion. So I'm really happy to have these, and I cannot wait to start reading the Damachi Light novels. I really love the series, and I really can't wait to get into this. Another one I can't wait to get into is Log Horizon, but that's going to take me a minute to get. So yeah, now I'm going to be done talking about Damachi for a little bit, so let's get into the rest of the video. The next series I'm going to be talking about is Twin Star Exodus. Now, I'm just caught up to date with Volume 20. Now, I pre-ordered this volume a little bit ago off right stuff, and it just came out, so I'm really excited to start reading this. Um, I might just not read a couple more volumes, so Twin Star can have, like, three or four volumes, and then I can just binge it, because I really love Twin Star, but I feel like it's one of those series like One Piece that binging, it's just way more enjoyable than waiting month to month or waiting for volume to volume, so I'd rather just wait for a bunch to come out. Now, I know that the final like arc is kind of going on right now in japan now i don't know if that's start currently like published in japan right now or if it's just starting so i don't take my word on that no, but i do know that it's going into its final arc that was announced so it's sad to hear a series like this end for me because it's one of my favorite series ever but I'm, i hope it has a good arc for the ending i really hope that they do well and i'm really excited to start reading this again so yeah let me just get into the next series before I just talk for like 20 minutes about Twin Star because I know I can. Another thing I did pre-order was actually volume 20 again of UQ Holder. Now, I'm, it's kind of funny how the first two volumes of the pre-orders that I did say were both volume 20. But I really, if you don't know, I'm a huge Kenan Kamatsu fan. Like, I think that this shows enough. That I, I have all volumes of UQ Holder over there just kind of split off by the shelf. But I'm a huge Ken Akamatsu fan, so having this is really exciting. I cannot wait for, to read this. Now, I know that the next volume actually comes out quite soon, if I'm not mistaken, volume 21. But I will be honest, this cover is beautiful. I think Ken Akamatsu's covers, ever since Nagima, just kept getting better and better. And UQ Holder is just one of the most fantastic covers. It has some of the most fantastic covers in manga, I will admit. Like, Ken Akamatsu's art on this looks so nice. Like... I love it so much, and here's the spine, but I, of course, you know, Kodansha has to get the messed up top. If you don't know me, I'm going to roast Kodansha with every spine possible, because almost all their spines are just terrible. So yeah, other than that, really excited to start reading this. I, I've read a little bit. I think I've read like four volumes, five volumes. Then I, just, I found out about Nagima being like a predecessor, so I just started reading Nagima. So I'm really excited to get into this though. So yeah, let's just get into the next series before I ramble on again. And the next series I did get pre-order again. Most of these for the rest of them are going to be pre-orders other than the last series I'm going to show. And this one is going to be Spy Family Volume 3. Now, if you don't know me, I really, really enjoy Spy Family. I think it's really good. Now, I can see why people don't like it. Volume 2 was very weak, but Volume 1, and I already read Volume 3, were very good volumes. So, I'm really excited to get more of this. Now, I know it comes out monthly for, uh, bi-weekly or monthly, I think, for chapters, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's bi-weekly, but it might be monthly. So, uh, volumes come out quite slow, but I really just want more. I really just want more. I, when I went shopping for my uh tomorrow's video actually when this is coming out when i go shopping i did see some spy family and i was really tempted to get it but in japanese volumes of course but i didn't i definitely think i should have but what can you do but i'm really excited to have this and i cannot wait to read it so let's just get into the next one for the next series i have a series that is popping like popping off like demon slayer level well not exactly Demon Slayer level, but it's popping off quite well, and that is Jujutsu Kaisen, and I got Volume 7. Now, if you don't know me, I'm a huge Jujutsu Kaisen fan, as you can probably tell from this. I have all six volumes, and now seven. Um, really excited to read this. Really love the series. Amazing shonen, in my opinion. Definitely a must-watch or read. I don't like the animation style too much, I'll be honest. I don't think it fits the series as much as the manga did, but what can you do? I really enjoy this manga. Really highly, highly suggest it. Love it so much, love it to death. Um, by the time this ends, it'll probably be in my top 10 to 5. I'll be honest, I really do think it's that good. It has that much potential, so I just cannot wait to see what they come up with for the rest of the series. And yeah, I just want, don't want to ramble on about this. I already have a video about it where I ramble on for like 10 minutes about it, so not trying to ramble on even more, so I'm just going to keep continue on, just going to do that. <laughs> 
Now, next up, there's three more series left that I have to show you for pre-order and one that isn't a pre-order series. I should have probably got that out of the way before this, but next up, series that just got an anime announced and I also just made a video on it. That is Chainsaw Man. I got volume two of Chainsaw Man. Now, I also saw some Japanese volumes of this. I was going to pick them up, but I didn't. I'll be honest, so I'm sorry if I'm spoiling some of the video for tomorrow. I'm going to stop, but really do like the look of this volume way more than volume one mostly the spine because i think the green works way more with the spine than the orange slash reddish color did and i really like the back of this volume as well i think that this volume is just an overall better looking volume than volume one in my opinion really excited to read this i've really enjoyed volume one i cannot wait to see what uh fujimoto yeah fujimoto does with this really amazing series cannot wait to get into the rest of it so yeah i hope the volumes come out fast because i don't know like the release dates for them but if they don't so be it but i hope they come out a little bit faster than other series kind of like you know it's twin star blue exorcist i hope they come out faster because i really want more but i do know that this might be going monthly but i don't know exactly because it's going to show and jump plus so it might but i don't know exactly but yeah let's just get into the next series my degen side is really getting out of hand sometimes i think i think it's really just that bad and that's because i got interspecies reviewers volume three which actually catches me up to date on interspecies reviewers i have all four volumes currently out in english and i think it's just gotten the better of me i i do like interspecies reviewers i will admit not just for the nudity i think the story is actually quite funny but i also do like the spines on these they're very very thin volumes though as you can tell i think it's this way yeah it's this way they're very thin volumes but it's really worth a read if you haven't of course you should be over like 17 ish 16 to 17 if you want to read this it's very nudity heavy i think there's a lot of nudity in it but the comedy is really funny in my opinion i definitely highly suggest this for those people like that that are like 16 to 17 plus they'll, they'll probably like this it's pretty funny so I'm not gonna say too much because it's really just a dgen manga that i like so I'm a DJ, no, okay, I get it. So let's just get into the next one. And our final one that I got on pre-order that is also a light novel is actually one of my favorite series right now that I'm currently reading. And I'm only around like midway through volume one of the light novel. And that is Ori Gairu. Now, Ori Gairu volume 10 just released not too long ago. I really cannot wait to finish this series. Like, I know there's like 16 to 17 light novels, I think in Japan and it's over. And we're on 10, but bro, I, I watched the anime, I completed the anime, and I'm starting to read through the light novels, but it's so good. I, I highly, highly, highly suggest Or Dyer to anyone, or My Teen Romance, Snafu, or something, I don't know the other name, but it's so good, it's so amazing. One of the best kind of like slice of life kind of things I've ever watched or even read. It's just a masterpiece in my opinion, it's a reason that it's like rated number 17 on Mal. It's so good. I highly suggest anyone who's into that kind of stuff to read this. And yeah, let's just get into the final series because I can ramble on about War Gairu for a while. Now the next and final series is quite heavy. So it's going to be quite hard to show off these volumes, but it's JoJo's Part 4, all seven of the hardcovers. Now I really do like these spines more than the rest. I like how they're different from the rest, but um, it's kind of hard to show these off because having all seven makes it kind of heavy. But here's Volume 1. volume two now i really i watched the anime already for this but i think that part four is probably one of my favorite parts because part four is really great and uh kirio shikage is an amazing antagonist like one of the best antagonists of all time volume three and i think he's just amazingly written i love josuke as a character i think his stand crazy diamond is amazing as well i just think overall this is one of the best jojo parts now i haven't read like or read or watched past part five because I'm an anime only so far other than the first two parts because that's all I've read. But I've heard part seven is like a masterpiece. So I can't wait to get those in like English form because if part seven is a masterpiece and compared to this, then there's something that that's going right for it because this is amazing from what I watched and I cannot wait to read it. Like. I know I'll have to wait for the part three hardcovers technically or just finish out my singles of the part three, but I really cannot wait to read this from what I've heard. It's so good. And I've, what I've like skimmed through for the art, it's so good. Araki is so amazing with his art as of like part three and on. Part for, The first two parts are kind of like dated, but the, from part three on, from what I've seen, the art is just so good. It's so amazing. 
cannot praise JoJo's enough. I know I already roasted their fan base for being toxic, but it is really good. It is just a really good series, so I have to be able to say that. Like, I know it's a toxic fan base, but I have to say it's a pretty good manga. So let's just get into the outro card so I can just stop rambling on. Now that should be it. I don't think I'm going to have another hole in December, maybe in January or maybe very, very late December. But I really did enjoy what I picked up and I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. And if you did like this video, please go down there and hit the like and subscribe button. And if you like my content and want more of it, please go follow my socials of Instagram or Twitter. Or if you just like otakus talking about random stuff, then please go watch our podcast of the Raku Otaku Podcast. It's in the link in the description. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I see you guys next time. Peace!